What is going on guys? It's Armana and I know in the last video I kind of sounded dead inside, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be a little more alive I just kind of want to be like I was so focused and stuff But nobody cares about that you guys care about the Tesla weapon how to get the Tesla weapon This is a guide on how to get that by the way So in the beginning of time no in the beginning you need to have the power and pack-a-punch already unlocked which i already made a video on that my last video check it out if you don't have power or guide and you don't know how to then check out my video and it'll also be linked up up there in the i little notification thing but you need to have power and pack-a-punch already unlocked because without them this would be a little bit impossible so the first step to actually unlock the tesla weapon is actually to open a gate that we cannot actually open because we need the power on so head to this room right over here where you see like this little technology right here and it's pointing another arrow and i already done this so just ignore it glowing green but it's gonna glow red and you're gonna press square and it's gonna glow green now just quickly follow my route because this is time do it as fast as you can and by the way while we're waiting for me to get there i'm gonna tell you why we need to do this basically there's this metal gate thing that we cannot open because of the power and we're turning on the power currently and that's why we flick this little switch to go green and we also need to do it in another place which is the laboratory once you actually made it to the laboratory go over here and press square i already did it like i said and it will flick green and then your character will say Oh, we turn on the power and head back to this main area right over here. The gate will then be able to be open and you will have to buy it with, I think, 1,500 points or something like that. You can head down there, but be careful because there is three bomber guys and they're pretty... They want to kill you. So just take them out very quickly and you will find this ancient statue of Barbarossa with his sword. So head up to this really weird machine and press square. Basically what you have just done is started up another step for the Tesla weapon. This step actually is a soul box chest and if you need ammo, feel free to leave the room and just go get ammo and then come back. Just make sure you're getting kills in this area and then the zombies will get red electricity and start flying up and then die. It's just a soul box, okay guys? Just kill zombies in that area. Once completed, the whole map will just glow this red mist, letting you know that you have succeeded in this soul chest thing. Now, guys, this is where it gets a little bit spooky. So make your way back up to this area and where this shows this little shape right here. I know it's a triangle, but I forgot what it's called. I actually use this medic's power so I don't get hit by any zombies, but hold square and start spinning the thing open and eventually the thing will come out, the lights will shut off and let me say, it looks like dead space. The lights will all shut off and then this is the spooky bit where you climb up here to this control room center and find the big red button and press it. Now that thing that came out of that triangle pyramid thing, it's not a pyramid. That red glowing thing is basically another soul box thing. But this time, it's moving to the laboratory. So on the floor, there will be this red little circle. Kill zombies in that circle and you should be fine. This red thing above you will constantly be moving to the laboratory. So just kill zombies and that's how it will move. If it stops, don't worry, just keep killing zombies and until you make it to the central control pad. I'm just saying that because that's what I think it. Kill a couple more zombies, and then the red thing will actually put itself inside of this center control pad, and it will start spinning in the gameplay. I actually had to leave the room because, you know, because there was way too much zombies, but take my word for it, it starts spinning, and eventually it'll give you a piece for the Tesla gun. Look guys, it sounds complicated, but it actually isn't when you play. Alright, once you got that first piece of the Tesla weapon, it's not end of the spooky nightmare. We're gonna have to do this one more time, and this time it's going to the left side now. Again, it's gonna get that red circle again once it starts going to the left, and you will have to kill zombies for the, for the soul box to keep moving and... Eventually, it'll go to the center control pad. You'll have to kill a little bit more zombies, and then it'll put itself in that machine, 
and it'll start doing some crazy fanatic stuff. And by the way, your remote might have an episode if it has vibration on it. It's gonna go <laughs> and it's gonna be really scary, but I'm sure you guys will get through it. Again, get that one piece for the Tesla weapon, and then yeah, you have all the pieces for it. Now make it back to that place where we unreeled that thing and you'll see it burning. Basically, there's this giant flamethrower monster and it's ready to flame you up like a marshmallow. Don't worry, you can leave the room if you want to take him somewhere else, but all you got to do is just kill him. He's not a very easy guy to kill, especially when there's a lot of zombies behind you and stuff. Take your time, you'll get through this. Just try to kill him as fast as you can. And yeah, when you kill him, he'll drop and you can make it back to that center area where we press that red button. Now actually go up to this table right here and press square and now you just built yourself. The, I forgot what it's called the Tesla weapon now this thing is not very bad But it could be better, you know, and that's why there's other upgrades for it There's three four more upgrades for it now There's four more upgrades to this and the normal Tesla weapon is it is pretty cool It's basically like the Wonder Waffa, but if you have a whole horde of zombies You can just keep firing this at them and the zombies will get stunned mostly die But if you have one of those zombies that have sword on their arms They won't die the first hit, but they will get stunned So giving you a good chance to run away if you're in low health or your friend needs to get revived or anything like that it's really cool. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the, of this video. Make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe so it lets me know that you guys enjoy this type of content. For more World War II zombies stuff, make sure you guys tell me what you guys want to know in World War II so I can keep doing it even though I already got good ideas of it. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the reflection of the mirror. Peace.